Hello guys, it is Juicy. Juicy, Juicy, Juicy. I am today going to be showing you a little method. I like to use the salamanders, but I don't like paying the prices of what they charge for the ammunition. So I like to go and gather the ammunition for myself. It gives you a bit of herb lore experience. Um, you can gather the herbs for yourself as well if you want, but I just find if you buy 10 or 20, that makes enough to two to 300 uh, ammunition. Uh, you can either do it, there's two ways that you can gather your swamp tar. You can either go buy a load of fucking energy potions, and you can go round and, alright, who's this guy? Is he, did he have any stuff on him? Oh yeah. I hate it when people die because it makes me want to stand around and see their loot. Anyway, there's like swamp tar all around here, it can be one, it can be two, um, it could be three, it could be four. Or is it just ones? If it's just ones, then fuck that shit. I'm going to, going to go underneath. Yeah, it seems like it's only one. So we don't want one each time. I don't like that anyway. But I'm going to wait for this kill to appear on the floor to see if I'm missing anything. Because I believe the guy might run back and try and gain his stuff back. So I'm not going to let him. I'm going to take his shit. Was that his bones there? No, I don't think it was. Uh, Alright, I think I'll give it a few more, a few more seconds, and then I'm gonna make a run for it. Fucking even bothered. Oh, the swamp tars spawned back. Oh, he only had a staff of air. Who wants a fucking shitty waste of time staff of air? Okay. So you want to make your way down to this tunnel. You need to bring a rope. If you've not brought a rope and you're fucked, ain't you? You need to use a rope one time only, and then you've got permanent amounts of uh, permanent amounts of excess. Um, yeah, you will get grabbed if you don't bring a spiny helmet as well, a spiky helmet. Um, I don't bring one because it's only the one time you have to go through there. Um, and then once you are here, you can literally just come here, and there's these cave slimes here, three of them. They'll automatically attack you. Turn your auto retaliate on. And they are pretty much one hit ball with bronze arrows and um, a magic shortbow. Uh, they do give some XP per kill. 35 range and 28 HP, 112 off 113 altogether. Uh, when you pick up the Swamp Tar, you can expect a nice amount of Swamp Tar. A lot more than one, two or three. Uh, sorry, one, one on the floor outside. Um, you will get a few bits of poison, you will get a few bits and bobs that will piss you off here, but it's not a lot of damage. If you are lower combat, then bring a bit more food and bring a bit more, you know, awareness of your surroundings. Um, an oil lantern or a bullseye lantern, it won't go out down in these caves, nothing will trigger it off. Um, other than that, you, you are pretty alright, you'll be able to do everything you want to be able to do once you get your enough... Um, Swamp tar. I don't actually know how long it takes to get two to three hundred, so that's up to you how quick you are at looting, how your good drops are. Like there, you see, I just got six in one drop. Now, if you're selling them for three hundred each, six times three is six, twelve, eighteen. You know, you're looking at one point eight k in one drop for these. That's like, you know, in old school, that's like killing a green dragon and taking his bone and selling it. Or it is like selling bones. You are pretty much killing level twenty sixes and getting nice item worth like each time you can get the odd one but it, it's not really rare like you're seeing I'm getting fours I'm getting fives and I'm also getting sixes there was a two there I can't complain at a two but I see it as you know it's it's good XP for herb lore it's not great XP for range and whatnot but y you're better than just fucking looting it on the ground you're doing a bit, a bit of both instead of just running around getting nothing so, that's that's pretty much all there is to it, and by the time I've done this, and the, the amount of time I've been speaking, I've already got 45. So getting getting quite a nice amount of Swamp Tar is a good way of getting a bit of money, say, but I'm not going to be selling these at all. I'm going to be using them for my Red Salamander, um, purely for the Chaos Elemental. I've been training my range a little bit, I've got 62 now. Um, I've been doing tasks as well with uh, range, um, I'm going to be trying to keep in doing that. I've got 138 cow fights right now, uh, so I need to find out where, where, what their weakness is and um, how to kill them effectively. Because I don't want to be killing a small amount of that, like the weak 20 ones. I want to be killing like a nice higher level. 
But yeah, it's really, really straight, straightforward as this is, and uh, you can come here at any level really, as long as you can hit 90-95. It would be ideal for one hitting, so when you do one hit them, they just die. You're not left there, like, trying to kill them for ages, because then that does make the game drag on. And that was a 6 drop. And that was a 5 drop. 6, 11, 3 was it? Or was it a 7? I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll count this time, say. So, one kill. Two kill. Right, so that one gave me four. So I've got four, four Swamp Tiles at the moment. Five. This one better be a good one. It's a special dude. Five altogether. Oh, I've lost count again, for fuck's sake. I'll do it again on these. Right, that's one kill. That's two kill. Right, okay. We're at 80, so... That's 6. That's 11. That's 14. So 14 times 300, say... It's a nice amount of gold. And obviously the more people doing this, this is why I'm releasing the video, so people know that they can actually do this and it's quite quick. Um, more people will be farming the tars, so therefore I will be getting more ammo for low prices. This is the idea. And if you are, say, like 30 or 40 range, it's a good way of getting your range levels up for the first times as well. So that's 112. I need another 200 and uh, 228. Okay. 118. Fucking hell, this is brilliant. I just realised I've got like, well, n I've not just realised, but 121 already. That's taken me a lot, like five minutes. Yeah, about five minutes. Say, it's really fucking good. So if I was to stay here for an hour, you you would pretty much be making about 300k an hour, I would say. Probably just over. Yeah, and if them bug things do hit you, you want to ignore them because they, I don't even know if they drop anything. I mean, can you see anything down there? I can see a red dot, but no loot. Where is the loot? I really can't see anything, for fuck's sake, so I'm going to go stand over here and have a look. What is it dropped? All oh right, okay. Yeah, no, it drops shit. Don't don't loot the shit. You don't want the shit. The shit is not good. It's not have shit. Babe, to pinpoint. You can leave this on for now. Actually, it's four minutes. No, you're not. You actually have to watch Tipping Point with me today, baby. Alright. As long as we don't forget. No, no, you don't forget because I will forget. Oh, come on, it's right on in four minutes, Abby. Can you not have a bath after? Closer. Yeah, have it closer to the time and then you'll be more awake. Think about it. The logic is there. Oh yeah, and the other bonus about this is when you are making the um, the swamp tart into the other shit. Um, I've I've actually sold the ones I'm trying to make for 500 each. So one you you make from one taramin, which is say like 100, 200 gold. If you was to buy these, they're like two, three hundred gold. You can make 15, say, and you can sell them for 500 each. So if you was to buy one of these for two, 200 GP. Um, so say you bought you bought 15 of these at 200 each, so that's 3,000 gold. You then bought one one Taramin for 100, 200 gold, that's 3.2k. And then if you was to then make them into the tar, the Taramin tar, then you'd be making 1.8k each one, uh, each 15, sorry. And that would be quite good. That would be you know quite a good way of playing the game. If you was, you know, if you was just absolutely retarded like I am at the minute. 
My bank is terrible. I've got two dragon long swords, a dragon on uh, main hand and off hand, which I'm happy about. That's the main things I wanted. I need to buy an elder bow. An elder bow is apparently nice to train, and then I, when, once I'm near 70 uh, range, I will be training all my agility and everything like that. I'll be doing loads of quests that reward good uh, XP for the non combat stats. Because everything's double on this, this game, which is. Fucking amazing. So I'm at 196 and we've been on this for 10 minutes, the video, so I'd say about 8 minutes. It took me a couple of minutes to get here. And I'm happy. I actually thought this was going to take me maybe half an hour or so to uh, get the tars and everything. Maybe in total making them as well, because it, well, it don't take long to make them. Thirty-nine herb lore. I will be forty herb lore after I make the first lot. They it gives over a hundred XP per per fifteen you make, so it's really fucking good. I'm just thinking, well, with what I said about the Taramans and the Tar, if I am selling them at five hundred each, that's serious profit and that's serious herb lore XP. That could be ninety-nine herb lore right there. So, yeah, I, I think I will be gobbling a lot up before I uh, release this video. Two hundred and twenty-five. Yeah, so this isn't too bad, I don't think. I did come here before, but I think it took me a lot longer to, um, it took me a lot longer to kill them and shit because I wasn't really paying attention, I was, I was uh, watching TV and all that shit. The more they drop the higher tars, the better though. So I've only used a hundred odd bronze arrows as well. Two, four, five. How many coins is that on the floor? 300. Is it, would it be worth picking up coins? No, I don't think it would. Not at all. I, I think it's now and then they can drop a nice little drop there. Of, uh, 300 odd coins. Mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. Give me that shit. I want it. I want it. Right, watching Jeremy Kyle and there's a load of people just stealing babies. A load of babies just being stolen. Yeah, no, probably because he, she's accused him of smoking weed, he's probably gone to the lowest of the low to fucking try and get her into trouble. Thing is, is the look at her body movement compared to his. Who looks calmer? I always say the calmest person is obviously the one. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it can be the opposite. But I normally say the calmest person that don't show no temper in their face or anything would be the one that's telling the truth. But then being made out to be a liar is not a good thing, is it? <laughs> this is the, the, the way I'd be though, baby. You know, if we had a baby, 
and I like, started crying, and there was me, me and you here saying we was both like I was playing this and you was watching TV. I'll just keep playing. Oh yeah, no, that's different. I the problem the problem is is a lot of people just sit there and smoke weed all all day, and they have kids unfortunately, and they uh they don't stop. That's <laughs> that is the major problem. Like they don't grow up. Yeah, no, they don't grow up. They think, nah, nah yeah, I'll smoke weed and I'll I'll keep on at it. You know, I'll be a good dad. No, he won't be a fucking good dad. The thing is, because as soon as, as soon as you you get fat, Abby, I I won't smoke no more. Right, guys, I got my three hundred and five uh three hundred and five swamp tars. I'm gonna show you. Uh, what I do with them after, just for guys that are thinking, what the fuck, man, why is he picking up shit? But I thought, you know, I thought, yeah, get a black sun amount, cheap, am um, cheap ammo, cheap this, cheap that, it's not, it's fucking expensive. Um, and that took me literally, what, 10, 10, 10, 10 to 15 minutes, like, just to get myself 300 ammo that is gonna last me a little while. Um, so I'll show you quickly, I've got five here. So if I stick five on here. Oh, they don't even buy anymore. Alright, maybe someone's gone over the top and fucking sold everything and shit. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll, um, I'll do this quick. So I'll get me, me, me taramins out, you use your taramin on the swamp tar and a paper thing will come up like this. Um, you can ask a thick, foul smelling tar like substance with a red tinge. Um, damage, that's 500, okay. What about that? What's the damage on that? 600, so it's like 100 damage, okay. Yeah, it gives 110 XP per one I make. I can make 20, so that's 2.2k XP. Um, plus, it is a lot of ammo for me. And there's my herbal level that I was talking about, there's 40. Um, and it is really, really easy. You set it up, you leave it to do its thing. What's that? Daily chat. Where, where, where the hell's Taramintar Tar? Return to challenge Mistress Farah. Did they get anywhere? I don't know where they are. They do say though the daily challenges are good. Um, let's sell one. This will sell. No, it will. Yeah, there you go. Bam. Straight away it sells 300 GP. Now, if I was going to sell them, I wouldn't sell them for that. How much are these selling for at the minute? I need to see. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, they are selling now. 177 each. Oh, right. They're a few, few GP off. So at this, this price, if I was to buy 50... I'm do you know what I'm going to... I'm going to do a little test as well while I'm doing this. I'm going to... By what I've got here, um, well, no, I'm gonna sell a hundred. I'll sell another 99 of these, but I'm not gonna sell them for 300 each. I will sell them for 500 each. Um, but then the other test I need to do as well is Terramin Tar. Type that in. I need to go 499. Enter. One. Confirm. Does it buy? Someone is selling them for. 340 GP, so therefore my method of making them mm, wouldn't really work. So you would be better off. Yeah, you'd probably be better off just make, like buying them if it's the case. Terramin. This is what I will try and do. Someone's buying them at 300 each. I'll try and buy them at 310 each. So now I can buy, what, say... thing is, is this guy that's selling them for, for 330 each or whatever, they won't last, they won't be there forever, they're going to disappear soon and then people are going to have to buy my ones. But um, thanks for watching guys, rate, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed and if it's helped you. Um, I'm now going to be going to the Chaos Elemental now, I've got enough ammo to take 50 for like 2 or 3 free kills, so I can kill quite a few there and see what I can actually get from the little camp. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon, thanks for watching.